On this video, I'm going to show you how I make these cool post light holders that you could put at your permanent campsite at your RV, or you could just put them at your house. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. The nighttime noise. There we go. Come on in. <laughs> we live way out in the country and it's so noisy at night. But I felt like I needed to film this video at dusk so that you could actually see the glow of the lights and how it looks. I decided that I wanted to put lights around our pool area and I wanted to hang them up but there was really no way to hang them. So I decided to make these cool planners that holds my lights. And I thought, hey, I would go ahead and do a video in it for y'all. Because like if you're a full timer and you have a permanent spot that you have your camper, these would be really cool for that. Or if you just wanted to make them around your house, I wanted to show you how. I love how these turned out. And I'm gonna go over the step by step how I did this so that that way you can make these too. Now, I was gonna do these by myself and Bill was like, no, I'm gonna help you because he knows me. The poles might've been a little crooked or off a little bit and I wouldn't have cared. I would have been happy that I got it done. So me and him got out here a few weeks back and we put them together. Now, when I went to go find my pots that I wanted, I wanted something big, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So I found these black pots at Lowe's, and I want to say they were like $14, $15 a piece, but they were not the color I wanted. They were black, and I didn't want black. All right, while making these planners, the planner light holders, I could not decide on what color pots I wanted. I ended up finding these black ones and then I just bought some spray paint and I'm spray painting them bronze. Don't let the color of something deter you. If you like the shape, the style and the size, buy some spray paint and change it. These are my favorite cans if you can find them because they just work better. And I know you can get like a cap for the regular spray cans that makes it like this. I'm spraying, this is a metallic paint. It's called flat, flat brushed amber. And when you get ready to spray paint, make sure that you don't like get too terribly close and you wanna do sweeping, quicker sweeping motions. want to clop it I mean you don't want to have runs so by having longer motions it actually keeps that from happening and you know you, you want to rather do a couple of coats and have it not with runs than have one coat with runs all over it now I wouldn't think that you would want like ceramic pots because they could break and I don't think they would last a long time. That's the reason I decided on the plastic pots is one, they're a lot cheaper. And two, I felt like they would last a lot longer and I wouldn't have to mess with trying to put them up. So the first step that I did was I had to go find my pots. I did four before's eight foot long, a bag per pot of this quick drying, quick creep mix. And you wanna get the quick drying that way you're not trying to have to sit there and hold it forever and it'll dry real quick. And it took right at a bag for each one to make them sturdy. So what we did 
is we leveled the pot completely. So he put shims and stuff in there so that the pot was completely level. And then after he did that, I held the post and we had a level that we held on the post so that we made sure that the post somewhat stayed level as he was filling it with water and putting the quick crete in there and mixing it up. After he got through completely filling it, we made sure that the post was level and then he smoothed off the, con the uh, concrete in the pot and made it where it would taper towards the edges a little bit so that it wouldn't hold water. After we got through doing all that, I came down here and I took a drill and I drilled holes right at the base of the concrete where it meets the side of the pot so that the water would escape and it wouldn't hold water on top of them. I took a bag of pea gravel and filled like a small layer on top of the concrete to, so it would have better drainage. And then I filled up with dirt and put my plants in. And I think they turned out great. They, I mean, you would have to, <laughs> it takes a lot to move them and we've had some storms and they haven't fallen. I did six posts. It took me two big bags of the potting soil for all six of my pots. I just picked out some flowers that were full sun because obviously it's gonna be in the full sun out here. And I just got like little hooks that I mounted on the back side to hold the lights as I strung them around. And then on the, this side, you can't tell it because I don't have it on this one yet, but I've got up little brackets to put on four of the posts where I can hang hummingbird feeders or flower baskets or anything that I want to decorate them with. I think they're going to look really cute, but they really make this space. It's really bright. I really hate that I put up lights that I'll never see because you know I go to bed before dark but <laughs> it does look really pretty. I love how it turned out and they were super easy. And like I said, I think they would look great. Like if you had a permanent site that you have your camper, like you could put these out around your site and they make it really pretty because you have the flowers, but then you have the place for the lights. I plan on staining these but I have to let them dry out a little bit because I want to stain them the same dark stain that's on the tiki bar as well. This is our little bit of paradise out behind our house. The pool looks pretty rough, or I think it does. It was built in the 70s, so we've done a lot of work out here to try to update it and make it look better. We have my huge tiki bar that Bill built it turned out great. I had this more of a mountain lodge look. We have like a little tiki bar section, but the rest of it's kind of more like, like you're in the woods in the mountains or something because we love the mountains. It's crazy. I had just gave Bill a picture of what I wanted this look like and he built it and it turned out great. And we've had some parties and stuff out here and people really enjoy this area when we have friends over. Wish we had more parties out here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about my post lights. The end of next month, we're headed to Asheville and Myrtle Beach, and we're actually staying on the beach in Myrtle Beach in our RV. So we will be taking our RV with us. I have quite a bit of videos and stuff that I have ideas for, a lot of RV stuff. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so it alerts you when I upload a new video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, and check out this one. If you like this video, maybe you'll like to go watch our Crab Island video if you haven't already. Till next time, like and subscribe.